all of us are pinching ourselves over the gutter to success yeah even now it's it was so unexpected all of us thank i mean my new sister in law that she brought us luck to the house mom and dad never really wanted or said you know come be on set see this see that because it was something that i never really showed any interest in mentally it's a line where people go through highs and lows mm. uh, and also for income wise it's 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 not consistent so they thought my natural personality will probably clash with this industry hi i'm rajvi hi i'm paloma and you're watching me on e times Hey everyone, this is me, Heisha Chima, and today here on E Times, I'm in conversation with two extremely young people who are making me feel thoda old. <laughs> Paloma Rajveer, welcome to E Times. Thank Thanks you. for having us. Trailers quirky, trailers peppy. I love your vibe, Paloma. I have to say it. Um, of course, I love you too, Rajveer. <laughs> That's fine. Thank you. I'm going to start off with you, Paloma. When your mum came into the industry, she gave a cult film, and then that's how she was known as. Um, you're making a film right now with Rajveer and the team of Rajshree, which is very relatable because we're in an era of situationships. Let's just put it that way. When you were signing this project up, right? What was going on in your mind? Did you speak to your mom about it, or you were like, "I'm going to do it on my own, and I'm going to go with my gut and what my generation wants this time." You know, actually, I gave these auditions at home during lockdown, so my mother was actually helping me film those auditions. So she was very much part of this process. But I think, obviously, my journey is is going to be different from hers. You know, she was um, uh, she was basically just she had kind of seen her and wanted her to be a part of the her the his film. So it was a very different approach back then compared to now. Yeah. You know, where we go through so many rounds of auditions before we actually bag a a role. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, she was very much part of this entire process, um, helping me shoot, coming up with the different looks for the auditions as well. And yeah, she's my best friend. You know, we like literally. I pick up the phone and I have to speak to her once in a day, like hundred percent. And she was also known as the Nuri girl for the longest. And I've seen that film too because my dad was a huge fan of yeah. hers. Uh, your dad and of course Poonam ji have worked together. I'm sure you all know which film I'm talking about. But do you all know there were three films? Of yes, course. Yes, there were. Yeah, yeah. Tell me the names. Chalo, let's test. Okay, I'll go one. You go one. <laughs> okay, fine. You're going to say the easiest one, I think. Samundar. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, that was. <laughs> there's Samundar. There's yeah. Sony Maiwal, obviously, Maiwal, and there's Savere Wali Gali. Gali. Oh, you all are very well prepared. So, have you seen all three of them? Yeah. Yes, yes. The damn cute films. Yeah, they're yeah. very cute. And I feel even like uh, Savere Wali Gali was such a film of the era which we wouldn't talk about or I think of. I loved it. Even I loved it. Yeah. Of course, Sony Maiwal, we all loved it. And now you guys are doing this film together. <laughs> yeah. Rajvi, you all. So I have to say, they all families on a celebration. First, yeah. your brother gets married. <laughs> then. Gadar too becomes a super hit. Yeah. Now it is your debut. Like, chal kya hai? What do you sit on dining table and do? Aaj kis cheese pe celebrate kare? Huh? Ah, uh, we just this is so new to us. So even now, I think all of us are pinching ourselves over the gadar to success. Yeah. Even now, it's it was so unexpected. But we do thank. I do all of us thank. I mean, my new. Sister-in-law that she brought us luck to the house and. Why did you say that you know your parents didn't want you to become an actor? जब तो ये तो खून में है ना आपके. Ah, uh, they just thought that uh, mentally it's a it's a line where people go through highs and lows hmm. uh, and also for income wise it's 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 not consistent. Yeah. You might earn now then you might not get another paycheck. So they thought that uh, also I'm a very quiet guy. I'm an introvert. So they thought my natural personality. Will probably clash with this industry. I'm going to bring this back to you, Rajvi. When I spoke to Manish Vadva, who's played the antagonist in Gadar 2, he said that one thing that I picked up from Sunny Ji was his focus and dedication. Oh yeah. Uh, he said that he's so focused and dedicated, and even if he has to improvise on something with another co-actor, he's not going to point out and say "ye karo." He'll ask whether this is mm -hmm. what you want to do mm -hmm. or not. What did you learn from him? With that, the biggest thing I've learned is that I mean, after 22 years, he's got to hit. You don't stop working, mm. even though if it's a Sunday or whatever, you just don't stop working on your craft, and you just fight through the rainy days to the sunny days, and from the sunny days back to the rainy days. So yeah, you just keep consistent, and you keep yourself busy, and you keep yourself also motivated. Mm. That's the biggest thing I've learned from him. What about you, Paloma? Is there something that you're imbibing from your mother? She's been a part of your auditions, as you said. But yeah. is there something specific she told you that you should always remember, no matter what happens from your on? 
I think to have fun and enjoy what you're doing was mm. something that mom and dad have always said. Even this process, it's so new for us. We're just starting. We're yeah. finally doing a movie after you know going through so many auditions and waiting so long. And yeah. after COVID, you know, we didn't know what's going to happen. Theaters were shut. So just to have fun, work hard. You know, my dad keeps saying, "Be patient," because this line of work requires that. Yeah. Yeah. Those are things I hear a lot. But I've been a fan of Dharam Ji as well. He did Rocky Rani yeah, too, and yeah. oh my God, I'm saying that they were family is celebrating only. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nothing, nothing <laughs> to uh, celebrate. And he did a film with Raj Shri, which was I think an alangara for some hundred weeks altogether. Yes, yes, yes. A yes. theatre's life that we miss right now, you yeah, know. But yeah. take me back through your like you know early childhood days. Like you know, would you all go to get the galaxy? Have you been on the sets of your dad? Have you been on the sets of your mom's films? And did they come and visit your sets for those? No. What was it like? Uh, I did visit uh, visit my dad's sets while growing up. I used to find them very boring and also <laughs> a bit frustrating because everyone would just stare at you, <laughs> just like, okay, this is Sunny Deol's son. Uh, so it was a bit uh, nerve wracking as a kid to get all that attention. So I didn't like it much. Mm. I fell in love with movies much later when I did uh, theatre and acting and everything. Uh, dad did come on the set on my first day of shooting, actually. How sweet! Yeah, and uh, pressured you. He did. He did. Uh, he didn't talk. Tell me much. He just he, he could see in my eyes. Mm. Uh, probably must have reminded him the first time he was also yeah. on the set of Betab. Uh, he'd give the clap also for the first thing. So it was extra special. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. very sweet. What about you? Yeah, mom and dad did come on set. Uh, my brother also came when we were shooting a song. It was lovely having them on set. It was like a dream come true. Did you go on any of their sets as a kid? You know, not really. I feel like when I was really little, maybe after school, I would probably just like go and appear somewhere when mom's shooting in Juhu or something yeah. close by. But I'd just give her a kiss, hug this, and then maybe eat a sandwich over there and then leave. I wouldn't like spend a lot of time there. I think as a kid, I didn't have like that interest in. You know this industry. So mom and dad never really wanted or said, you know, come be on set, see this, see that, because it was something that I never really showed any interest in as a kid. But you knew secretly you're going to do this, or did that develop much it later? It also so came to me much later when I was in college. It, it kind of when I acted for the first time mm -hmm. was when I felt like, okay, this is something I really want to do and I really enjoyed doing. Okay, I'm just going to very quickly get into a quick rapid fire with sure. you, Rajvi, first, and then with you, sure. Paloma. Sure. Okay. First one for you is a film of Sunny Deol's that you absolutely love. Arjun. You will binge watch it also. I do, I do. Okay. A film of Bobby Deol's that you absolutely love. I recently love Hostel. Ah, I loved Gupt also by the way. Gupt, I remember that. Quickly crushing yeah. on Bobby Deol every <laughs> time you watch Gupt, you're just like, mm, okay, Bobby. Or growing G. up, he was soldier. Also, oh yeah, I even soldier. Growing up, he was soldier. Yeah. Mm. Okay. A genre that you'd eventually want to play after Dono's success. Ah. Uh, I would say a thriller. Mm. See, all of beats. I love it. He never said action <laughs> or anything. So I expect a reaction. But thriller. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, an actor you would love to work with. Uh, Vicky Kaushal. Mm, I'll say that. I mean, we might meet him tomorrow, <laughs> but let's hope so. A director you'd love to work with. Uh, Raju Hirani, but there's so many. Uh, Imtiaz Ali, uh, Zoya Akhtar. Hmm. Too many. Yeah, that's a tough question. There's too many. Yeah, there's too, too many. many. And too new, actually, because you yeah, don't have yeah. like a wish list in yeah. India. Yes. Let's just tick mark yeah. all of them exactly. and then go for it. Okay. Tell me an unknown fact about yourself that nobody knows yet, but you'd like to share with your fans. You could search that. I think I'm such a people don't know much about me. Uh, I like mountains. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I say I like beaches. I don't know. Technically, I know you prepare because did not know. Will come I'm sure people did not know that. <laughs> yeah, but no, they know more. They know Abhi Sunny Ji's son and doing Dono okay. and this and that. Okay. Uh, I like mountains. Okay. Yes, Rajvi <laughs> likes mountains. <laughs> That's a good idea. Headline. <laughs> Rajvi do likes mountains. Did you know? Uh, did you know? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what can I say? A fact. Uh, I'm short-tempered. People get shocked about that. If there's a meal that you could eat for the rest of your life, it would be cornflakes. <laughs> Unknown fact. Didn't know about yourself is Rajvi loves cornflakes. Cornflakes. <laughs> All right then. Okay, yours is done. This was quick. Yes. Oh, Hello, we're coming to you. Similar questions. I have told you. You're prepared. Okay. <laughs> okay. A film of Sunny Deol that you love. I loved Saveri Wali Gadi. Mm. A film of your mums that you absolutely loved and can binge watch. Trishul. 
A genre that you dying to play probably. Maybe something actiony. Yeah, okay. She's doing action. No, because sure. I do like <laughs> MMA and stuff. Actually, and you sports. So, so why not? Nah, no? yeah. Okay. A director you would love to work with after Sur uh, after um, Avnish. How to pick? After. How to pick? Oh gosh, can I be super ambitious and yeah. just put it out in the universe? Yeah. Sanjay Leela Bhansali, <laughs> okay, sir. Wow. See, why not? Why not? Put Fingers it out crossed. In the Yay! Everybody <laughs> watching. Okay. An unknown fact about yourself that you'd like to put out? Um, I have a sweet tooth. Is mm. that very boring? That's no. Okay. Fine. Mountains. <laughs> 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 Okay, so then if I have to ask you the next question, one thing that you would binge eat for the rest of your life would be cookies, like chocolate chip cookies. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Folk, thank you so thank much you. for thank watching. Thank you. I had a blast. If you liked this video, make sure that you give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the E Times YouTube channel and do come back to us for more such interesting interactions and interviews with your favorite celebrities. This is me, Hesha Chima, signing off.